Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Starfield. It's time to talk to this Sam Co guy. So let's see what he's got to I say. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. You must be Sam Co, the Freestar Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only that it was in Freestar Collective Space. Yeah. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you wanna do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. There's a sandwich on the table. A delicious salami and cheese. I don't like salami, though. Hello, Sarah Morgan. I'm listening. Um... What should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Barrett, huh? That's different from what the Sam Co guy wants to do. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. How did you know there was an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Maybe another time. All right, so rescue Barrett. If it really is that beneficial, I don't see why not. Um, so Back to the grind. Oh, yeah, I walked by some, like, job kiosk. Back to Vectera. Return to Vectera, I guess. Land. Argos Extractor's Mining Outpost. That's right, that's where we started everything. This is definitely not the kind of place I'd set up an outpost. It appears things have gone well, downhill you're back, since the last time you were here. Argos Lynn, Lynn. Of Where's operation. Barrett? Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you Lynn me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. I'm sorry, I didn't know. We should have evacuated after the first attack. It's not like we were eager to stick around, but we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point, just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. 
Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. That doesn't sound good. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> of course Heller got captured, just his lock. I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. That's what we gotta do. Just boss of the year. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Fix the comms computer. Okay. Sarah Morgan, you got anything to say? Something you need? What can you tell me about Barrett anyway? His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Okay. Bye. Go into some third person action. Yeah, off screen I put on the Constellation spacesuit. As opposed to that one that we had in the beginning of the game. Travel to Aquila City. No, we don't want to do that. We want to fix the comms computer. Where is our waypoint? Emergency power cell. I wonder if that comes into play at all. Fix the comms computer. Yeah. Show me where that is. Oh, that's how you open the door. I'm sitting here running into this thing trying to figure out how to get in here. I forgot that it was... Oh, well, see you, Sarah. Okay, well, we're on the right track now towards this computer thing. What do we got in here? Adaptive frame. Iso-centered magnet. Magnet? Magnet? I don't know why I said it like that. I know I'm not the only one who picks up all the stuff. Some people in my Discord were saying that that's what they were doing, too. We need some ship storage, though. Or something. Heller's Cutter. No need for that, but that's interesting that it's there. Power cell number two. Picking them up because they fit. emergency power cell just sounds like something important. All right, the objective, the computer is right in here. What's well, bubbling? Power receptacle. Oh, look at that! We did need them. Oh, we need one more. Uh, where the heck could that be? I just randomly found those two. Wait a minute. Unlock door. There we 
go. That actually completed a challenge, so we can upgrade the security thing now. There's a watermelon on the table. Uh, look for a power source. Yeah, do that. What? Somebody's looking for a group for Destiny 2. waypoint markers for where these power cells might be I think check for power cells you pull out a single power cell all right that's all we need let's go back to that wall Computer. All right. Find a clue to Barrett's location. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Alright, does that actually give us a location as to where he is? There's the second wave of pirates that came. Constellation ship incoming. Might as well take the watermelon. Did you pick? Yes. You want all those things. Hey. Okay. She's relatively useless. Reactive gauge could be used for crafting. So now what? We gotta go find Barrett somewhere? Talk with Sarah Morgan. Well, I just did, she had nothing to say. I guess now she does. So, you actually get that computer working again? Yep. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny, even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Alright, thanks, Lou. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. What good can she do, I wonder? We're just getting started. We don't even have, like, ships or outposts or anything. Let's see. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and 
I could use a change of scenery. What kinds of things can you do for me? That's what we want to know. If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. Sounds good, but we're not that far into the game yet. Keep that in mind for when we have an outpost, I suppose. All right. Stay safe, Dusty. I'll be cleaning up here a while longer if you decide you need me. Now that other girl wanted us to talk to her. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Uh, we've been over this. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Uh, it was like being instantaneously pulled across an entire galaxy. Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. Why didn't you bring any of this back up at the Lodge when we were talking about all of it? Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Some people would consider what you went through a deeply personal experience. Flirt! I want to share all my personal experiences with you. No, that's probably going to go over badly. I have no problem being open with, about these things. Good. We need all the help we can get. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Sure. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. That must be frustrating. Um, is this the only project you've been working on? Uh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. That must be frustrating. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. We'll get to the bottom of this together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. She has the hots for us. No, I don't know. Seems that way, though. Alright. Let's go rescue Barrett. And Heller. I guess these other guys are just here. So, where to next? I'm looking forward to the day this actually releases, which I know is it's after that now for you watching this. But I, I want to go to my dad's and help him understand it. wigging out out there let's see travel to virium oh okay we do or virum we do have a new thing 
I don't know where that is, but we can jump to it, so let's do... Oh, okay, grab jump. Hey, contact Charlie 3. That's you. Charlie 3. Hi. I got some information for you. Uh, please, uh, acknowledge. See you later, bub. I don't know why he was trying to contact us, but we're not dealing with it. instead of letting her roam free? The answer's still no. You know I didn't mean it that way. I was merely suggesting that you allow... I don't know what they're talking about there. They're talking about the little girl and how she shouldn't be on the ship. All right, crashed ship, let's go. The Argon family of inorganic resources includes benzenes, carboxylic acids, and neon. I guess they were still going on about that little girl, even during the landing sequence. Okay, we gotta find... something. Find Barrett and Heller. There we go. This is our first time on a planet surface in a long time. I wonder if there's minerals to farm. Cobalt? Where? Why do I not see it? Is it here? It's not glowing or anything like we can interact with it like the other ones were. And I forget the buttons. Laser cutter. Is this thing? It's saying cobalt, but... It's not breaking off. I don't know, man. I'm confused. Oh, we got some low gravity on this planet. Nickel and water. I would like to set up an outpost and get some things farmed. What is this? Your suit's protection is depleted. You are taking environmental damage. Oh no. I didn't know that was a bad thing. Orange bar over the meter. Oh. Remove environmental damage in ships, outposts, and places you can relax and breathe safely. It's so and there's cobalt everywhere, but like there's not an actual thing to laser. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, there is. Now there is. Cobalt added. Very good. The 
boost pack is fun to use. I hope it doesn't damage me. Landing. No, okay. Somebody's here. Crashed ship location discovered. 20 experience for that. Heller. How do we talk to him? Oh, hey, it's you. Here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Medicine, you're on a lot of painkillers, but otherwise you're in surprisingly good health. Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah, well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Indeed. Without your help, we wouldn't have ever gotten this worthwhile addition to Constellation. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. That doesn't explain the crashed ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these Early whites. He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. Or something. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise I blacked out and when I came to there he was smiling like it was just another day on the job you miss the fun part Heller I mean I go through all the trouble of saving your butt and you weren't even awake to notice then he did the little finger gun thing I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. That's a long way of saying pirates have Barrett. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Get you on your feet first, buddy. I guess. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. 
Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. So we gotta listen to the emergency transmission O2. I don't know how to do that. Where is it? On the ship? Yeah. Oh, she... I keep thinking she's gonna have okay. something new to add, because she was having new things to add before. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Geology and outpost engineering. Um... You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. All right, let's get going. So he's not here Ooh, dying. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which can enhance your ship or outposts. Yeah, well, it would be nice to have an outpost farming some kind of minerals to get my stealth suppressor that I want. But I don't know where to do that or how. Okay, Heller is on the frontier. That's all we can do. We'll leave Sarah Morgan un unassigned because she'll follow us around. She's got a lot of good stuff on her name. Yeah, we have no outposts. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Well, all right. I guess he's fine. But what's this uh, transmission we're supposed to listen to? just him walking back listen to emergency transmission O2 put it on my waypoint please so I can see or tell me where it is if I have it I don't know why it's saying rescue Lynn like she's on this planet she's not on this planet Could get my dad into Subnautica too, maybe. Buy that for him on his birthday or something. Water. So, what have we got? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? I don't know my buttons, man. There we go. Water added. Cobalt. Optional recruit Lynn as crew. Why is it showing right here? I guess the planet she's on must be like in that direction or something. Yeah, this game could stand for a couple uh... Cobalt added. It'll be interesting to see how this game is, like, as old as Skyrim is after so many patches. How much better it is. Nickel. On the nickel over there. It's a good song by Tom Waits, On the Nickel. Or I think it might just be called The Nickel. We're getting some stuff, and we're getting encumbered in the process. What I don't like is I don't like that there's like not a fast way to store all this stuff and instantly put it to use. Like you gotta go through a lot of load screens and truck it all one piece at a time to the workstation that can put use to it or put it to use. So 
Suddenly now, we're finding a lot of stuff. Yeah, I realize I'm encumbered, man. That was some heavy water, apparently. Water is heavy, though. I didn't think the ship was this far away. I guess we were going with the gravity, hopping along downhill. Why does it sound like a jet is taking off? There's a ship. Landing? On this planet. Are those bad guys we can go stealth board their ship and take them out? I kind of want to do that. But I can't run at full speed. My oxygen is depleting because I got too much crap on me. I hate that mechanic, dude. In every game, encumberment is so stupid. Just like let it let it be an unrealistic video game. I want a really good pistol with a silencer, and I want more stealth encounters that's what i want and i don't know so far in playing this how to make that happen it almost seems like it's a skill issue like the more skilled you are and the more you know the game in and out the more you can turn combat situations into stealth situations just letting the o2 refill here Maybe I'll just meet you at the ship. Assuming we can get up there. Where did it go? Oh, yeah. Alright, can we boost up here? Yes, we can. We can rest up on the mountain. There is a ship right over this hill. And some kind of outpost. Got a couple resources along the way. Industrial outpost. Can we secure this and use it to, like, farm stuff? Like nickel? Or cobalt? Oh man. Where are the bad guys? It's saying I'm hidden right now. I gotta be careful of my oxygen though. I can't crouch because it, it makes it you huff and puff it all away. Wait, the music changed. Oh man, how do you be stealthy? That's all I want, man. Well, Grendel it is. really try to consider using one of these modified Grendels. Veterans, deep mining space suit, rare hey, item. That's not fair. There's another guy somewhere. Where did he go? Looks like we're in the clear. No, they're showing another guy. There's a red dot on the thing on the bottom left. Well, our lock picking skill 
we actually completed a challenge so we could go to rank two available. You can attempt to hack expert locks and three auto attempts can be banked. Rings now turn blue when... I don't know what an auto attempt is. I haven't seen that yet. Rings now turn blue when the pick can be slotted. That might be good. Maybe we're accidentally becoming a lockpick player. Optional recruit Lynn. That's just always going to be up there, I guess. Even though we're not even on the right planet. So what's the purpose of this outpost? What can it do? I wish I knew the answers to these questions. I would love to assign what's-his-face over here and start mining some nickel and cobalt or something. But I don't know if this is that kind of structure or if there's something I'm not understanding yet. Nobody's taught us about outposts. Well, here's their ship. I wonder if we could be stealthy with anybody who's still on it, unless they all just left. Ecliptic bayonet. Oh no, it sounds like we triggered an alarm. Can you just like not be stealthy ever? Don't shoot me while I'm climbing this ladder, please. There's a floor there. How do you how do you disembark the ladder? Can you not? This is a weird ship. It goes up to a thing. Hey, don't shoot her! She's climbing! Where is that guy? Oh, no, you don't! Shot her by accident. Not gonna pass much longer. Hopefully she survives all right. We had that option to flirt with her before. We want to keep her around in case we decide to do this. Has to be a way. There's a sandwich. How did she get up there? Can you disembark on that floor? No. Climb the ladder. Ow! What the heck was that? Oh, you just pressed to the side. It would be nice if there was a prompt or something that said that. Locker. Shotgun shells, tungsten. What can I help you with? Can you explain to me what we're in the process so of doing? We're stealing an enemy ship, but what happens to our other ship? Also, did I pick up everything? No, I 
did not. You have commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Any quest objects or passengers in your previous home ship will be transferred. Okay. What if one ship has more storage than the other? Like this one has actual storage crates in it. Okay, we gotta go talk to that dude at the city, that first city, Jemison, or whatever it was called. With your name, boss. I would like to have all these guys as teammates getting materials for me. That would be good. Alright, what do we gotta do now? We gotta rescue Barrett, but we don't know where he is. Listen to emergency transmission O2. Do we have that? Is that the, the thing I'm missing here? Let's check the inventory. What would that be under? That would be under notes. Emergency transmission two. When is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console, and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Hmm. Bear, it's one cool cucumber, apparently. So, alright, we listened to that, now what? This ship doesn't have as good of shields. Unintelligible chatter. We can put stuff in that storage crate and not be encumbered. There's dead bodies all over this place. I kind of miss our old ship, but I like that this one has storage. Hey, Sarah, yes. you got anything to say? No. Crap. Bye -bye. Oh, travel to Bessel 3. That's new. Can we just jump to it now without me having to get in the chair again? What? Oh no, there's a level 12 ship! Shields are offline. Are we gonna do this again? I just got here, man. I can't battle these ships that are like level 12 and higher. Cryptic Stiletto, man. Imagine if we could steal that ship. Ha! 
Ah, whatever, dude. Okay. Maybe we can't rescue Barrett just yet. I have some. What? Yeah, I know it's a new ship now. Wait, this ship is a lower level than the other one was. We can take care of the Crimson Fleet. It was that level 12 ship, unless that thing's right behind me. Yeah, it started me way back there. I had to take over the ship again and everything. Ship. That thing's junk. Our weapons are different on this ship. I kind of miss the other ship. This is manageable, though. These lower ship numbers. I don't know what happened to that level 12 ship. I guess it's random every time. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff on our hands. We gotta empty our pockets, but we gotta scan the planet and rescue Barrett. That's the whole point of coming here. Ransacked research outpost, rescue Barrett. There we go. Deep freeze temperature. That's no good. Something tells me the planet doesn't look like that. Oh, maybe it does. No, it definitely doesn't. This is all like a barren moon rock. Alright, well, since we're, we've already done a lot, I don't know how long it's going to take to rescue Barrett or if he's right here the way Heller was right there. But I think we're going to end things off there. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to store this stuff in one of these lockers and I'll see you next time. Take care.